Suppose you're reviewing a bond that has a 10% annual coupon and a face value of 1,000. There are 20 years to maturity and the yield to maturity is 8%. What is the price of this bond? We do know that uh, the price of the bond is determined using the present value formula of the, of the bond, which says that PV of bond equals to C times 1 minus 1 over 1 plus R to the power T over R plus the future value over 1 plus R to the power T. C is the coupon payment. So C is the coupon payment. And uh, we determine the coupon payment using the par value or the face value uh, and the coupon rate. So here the face value is 1,000. So this means that it's 1,000 times the coupon rate uh, of 10%. Uh, so 1,000 times 0 0.1. This means that the uh, that, that this uh, bond will pay you $100 um, in coupon payments every single year. You get this $100 per year, so R and T should also have um, a yearly frequency. R is the yield to maturity, and uh, the, the problem is telling us that the yield to maturity is 8%, so 8% per year, or 0 0.08 T is the time to, to maturity, in this case it is 20 years, and future value, that is the face value or the par value of the bond, and that and uh, it is here as um, $1,000. So here we have all of our variables, all we need to do is input them into uh, the formula. So the PV of bond equals to 100 times 1 minus 1 over 1 plus 0 0.08 to the power of 20 divided by 0 0.08 plus the future value which is 1000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.08 to the power 20. And here if you were to calculate the first part of the equation you'll get 981.18 plus the second part of the equation is 214.55. You add both numbers together and you get 1196.36. Um, if you notice, this is higher than the face value or the par value. Therefore, the, uh, the bond is trading at a premium. And the intuition behind this again uh, is just basically uh, a com if you we can get it by comparing uh, the coupon rates that this bond pays compared to the yield to maturity. This bond pays 10%, a 10% annual coupon, uh, which means that every year the holder of the bond uh, gets $100. The current yield to maturity is the uh, basically the coupon rate that is demanded. Uh, on bonds with similar risk currently in the market and the current yield to maturity is 8% meaning that bonds with similar characteristics are currently paying 8% 8% times uh, 1000 that is $80 so your bond pays $100 every period or every year current bonds with similar characteristics pay $80 uh, in coupon payments every year, um, every year. And so, um, and so this makes your bond very uh, attractive if you sell that bond in the market. And this is why you will be able to uh, get a price that is higher than the face value or the par value of a thousand. We can get uh, the price of the bond using the financial calculator. And so this is what we need. To input. So the first thing that we do is always clear our time value of money calculations. So second FV, second CEC. This bond is going to pay $1,000 at the end of 20 years. So $1,000 is your future value. The bond will also pay a coupon payment of $100. So the $100 will be a cash inflow to you. And so that will be your PMT. The I over Y is the yield to maturity, and in this case it is 8, so 8 is your I over Y. And the bond has 20 years to maturity, so 20 is your N. 
Now you just compute PV and you get a price of 1196.36 which is similar to what we have um, previously found and so uh, you, you see as a negative number meaning that you need to spend um, if you were to buy um, this bond you need to spend uh, 1196.36 to be able to generate a, uh, a coupon payment every year for $100 and get the uh, future value of $1000 at the end.